Something that was interesting for me were the maynades. I thought it was very interesting how Dionysus was able to fully possess them and control them, even though that they were the ones, the male sisters, who didn't really fully believe in his existence at all, or their sister's affair with those, with Zeus or whatever. So it was very interesting. He was able to have such a strong power over them that one of them, Agave, was actually able to kill her own son Pentheus with her bare hands and still think it's a lion. It was very crazy. Um, two, three conflicts. One, Dionysus versus the stranger himself. It was an internal conflict. Um, Dionysus is both in the play and without the play so it was very interesting to see him be the stranger and Dionysus the stranger was very calm cool collected he actually let Pentheus um captivate him and like all that stuff and so that his whole plan would work but um Dionysus would not let Pentheus actually harm him he played little tricks on him and stuff like that so that was evident there number two there was a clear conflict between Dionysus and Pentheus um their first cousins their mothers or sisters their um grandfather is Cadmus and I think that if um Samil hadn't been killed from Hera convincing her to see Zeus's true power um Dionysus would have been the leader of Thebes instead of um Pentheus, so I think that he has some resentment towards them, um, towards him. Um, even though he has seeking revenge on the whole family, I think he's specifically seeking revenge on Pentheus, so that's why he wants to kill him. And then number three, male versus female was an interesting conflict. Um, all of the f followers of Dionysus were females, which was interesting. Um, they're rebelling against their place in society, which wasn't really done, so they're rebelling against men, but only because another man, man told them to. Dionysus like possess them all to rebel against their spots in society and all that so it's clear that Euripides doesn't think women can really think for themselves and stuff like that it's male versus female it's um all the male are very strong they're all the dominant characters all that stuff so yes um three main aides they were the women who worshiped Dionysus so they were associated with frolicking in the woods and partying and drinking wine and wearing fawn skirts mainly because um Dionysus was the god of wine and partying and sexuality and madness really and um so they stayed in nature and was were depicted as completely crazy pretty much um back in the time Euripides did not think women could like be smarter than men or stronger than them or any of that better than them really because the herdsman says at one point oh the woman wounded men set men to flight that was not without some unknown power so without even knowing they knew that Di um, Dionysus had the power over them because they could not do that on their own which was interesting um, four, I think the play is mainly about revenge and giving people what they deserve. There was a way to handle Dionysus' initial, initial situation, but he was seeking, he went seeking for revenge, which an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind, which is still relevant in today. It's a good theme. Um, so yeah, he, he went too far. He had to turn Cadmus into a snake, all of that. It was crazy. So the last question, Elvis Presley is on the cover because there is a clear correlation between Elvis and Dionysus. Dionysus has had all women followers. They were so obsessed with him. They were possessed and crazy. And the same could be said for all of Elvis's girls fan, girl fans um, back in the day, female fans. They were obsessed with him, crazy, like almost possessed by him. So it's a clear correlation. And I thought it was a very interesting tidbit.